Hello guys and welcome back. We are getting into the final round here. This is going to be round number four. Last on uh, tonight's schedule is going to be on Miramar. It's going all the way from Oasis all the way, way down to the southeastern side here. So again, thank you so much everyone for all the, the likes, the shares uh, so far today. And uh, thank you to Han Wing Fong for the 95 stars. You're amazing, man. So yeah, looking at how things are shaping up here, we do actually have uh, quite a number of teams uh, already uh, deploying here. And uh, we already see that uh, MSK going to La Cobrera at the moment. It looks like Stadium Fighter going a little bit further west. Well, uh, looks like uh, Torre Ahumada will be the home for um, Team Crayon for the time being. Uh, FFG going for water treatment section here at the moment. And uh, Madu Padu here, or Padu Madu, sorry going a little bit uh to the east of the crater fields and crater fields gonna be uh one esports here and uh looks like uh san martin gonna be team quacker they it's pretty much their their home for most of the the games that we see here on uh um scrim city or rather the battle arena scrims whichever one that they happen to be playing and uh we already see that t 101 error here also going for this position at the moment but looks like papa zayat here taking some hits after trying to make off with a vehicle here and currently quacker not going to let him get away with that one just easily but oh it looks as though that quacker going to take out jangs there for uh zoop zoop nightmare and now it looks like there is going to be other presence here inside Martin as we do see the, the rest of Team ONE here inside uh, the southern region in the warehouses. But they are a little bit spread out here. And now looking at the zone, it is going to very much be all the way here in this uh, northern side. And uh, looking at how things are, I think we might have uh, dropped the team. Or rather, BAE is now inside the, the six gaming uh, squad. So... Um, that's going to be a little bit different for uh, this replay, guys. And uh, yep, and in any case, um, we will see Impala is going to have two teams there. It's going to be uh, Team 21, BAE, mixed team, and uh, going to also have uh, Team Awful Squad here. I cry Sim, uh, I'm not sure if he disconnected or he is AFK, but either way, he's gone. And Puerto Paracio here will have uh, two, team, two teams here as well. It's going to be Team UGM as well as... Uh, strive gaming for the time being here so looks like strive gaming having three players all the way on to the northeastern side of this uh particular town as uh, balala here going in the southern region while across the road is going to be the rest of uh ugm with only kapusus here all by his lonesome here so he's going to be careful the real loco the real oko is coming down as well to try and see what he can do no teams in the southern region at all except for those two and uh, now looking at things, uh, we see Stadium Fighter have gone all the way to Alcantara as uh, they try and uh, withstand this, um, or rather get enough uh, loot there just to survive into the later stages. But the three members from uh, Zoop Nightmare are very spread out here. And uh, ooh, looks as though Brennan will catch Kai down and uh, that's going to be it for him, unfortunately. And uh, looking at this, uh, we I think we have... Uh, Team Jesus over here, south of Picado. So uh, you guys go. And uh, now in Picado, we will actually have GIF Esports there. They are going to just hang out for the time being. And another team with their favorite spot, we see Red Sea here in Power Grid section. So Haha goes just a little bit separated here as he tries to loot up those concrete um, buildings there, which does offer quite a decent bit of loot there. So yeah, you'll see loads of them scattered around this uh, map. So definitely worth going for and in hacienda we will get the other players from uh, team one as uh, doyu is all the way here in the northern side of san martin i don't think they want to get in to engage too quickly here into any fighting with uh, team quacker here but that hacienda section is going to offer them some good uh, central position here it's actually right in the middle of the circle so going to be quite fortuitous for them and uh now looking at how the rest of this is going to develop we will be seeing that others are going to be uh making their way as well if they can uh move a little bit early i think uh, not many teams will be opting to do that of course there is going to be uh, not too much of a travel time here for most of the teams but back in Puerto Paracio here we already see that uh, they are getting a little bit too close for comfort here and Ferre is here taking a little bit of hits but now the other team members from UGM have come down 
to this Logan except for Jim Wing. Um, so now it looks like uh, you what, mate? Uh, Manjur here are gonna just still hold up inside that building. I think it's really clean of loot, guys. So you can actually move on to the next location. But Strive is gonna try and uh, maneuver around a little bit. But it looks like Kapus is here gonna get some. Uh, shots onto him and uh, ooh, fortunate not to take any back there as Manjur is also on the verge of dying for the time being here but Esco Rex going to town it would seem here as uh, he's been on fire recently um, in the last weekend he did get a second position inside the okay I might have jinxed that one but yeah he did get second position in the kill leader charts for that uh, round uh, last qualifier round for the PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship. So that was a nice uh, turn of events for him. Now, looking at how things are going here, we see Bamcop all alone here as uh, FFG is starting to swarm onto his position. Apparently, he's going to toss out the nade here and, and uh, looks like he's going to bounce off the tractor here. So not going to be able to connect, but a uh, duel here just going to come around for the flank. And currently, Vertsy just has to keep him uh, pinned in there. And Bamcop reduced to just a sliver of health left. Vertsy is going to come in for... Uh, the kill here but looks like Adul will be able to get the flank there and looks like Zook Nightmare going to be reduced down to two players left as uh, Rain Zera is going to come in here and see what he can do but more like he's going to be taunting just a little bit here while he tries to dodge some fire he takes one hit but nothing too serious in that instance but now we will be seeing that Strive Gaming here again resuming the fight here against the, the team members from a UGM, but UGM gonna get the smackdown onto another player there. As now there's only Fairways and Balala here left up for them. And currently he's in a difficult spot here. He's getting picked off or getting spotted here by the real loco and uh, Smaggle at the moment. And now Ferrez here are going to take a few more hits from the Vector here. And now it looks like uh, Balala here are going to have to try and save the... But the real Loco is going to go for the kill here. And uh, he will be able to get it. But he gets taken down here. And now Smaggle here is going to be the last player up here. And uh, there is going to be some backup coming here for uh, the rest of UGM. As, uh, I think their player is coming across. Yeah, Jim Bang here. Going to move across here. He gets some hits onto Balala, but not before uh, Smaggle goes down here. And Balala going to try and pull off the heel here right before uh, Jim Bang actually t decides to move in further. But he's going to go for the res here onto the real loco. And it could be a little bit of a dodgy situation if uh, things actually work, work out in uh, the other team's favor and uh, looking at the circle it is starting to move in we are seeing that uh, stadium fighter is on the way here they are going to try and maneuver around the northern side they might actually run into msk if they're not careful who is uh, currently in la cabrera for the time being but things are very congested in the center of the circle here and uh, looking at things now rain zera here a little bit trapped by uh, ffg here after he was uh occupying this compound now vertsy has moved into this uh, zone but it looks like balala gonna meet his end there and that's gonna be it for strive gaming here they go out in 21st position and now only 20 teams left here uh with uh, adul also taking some hits as well i think rain zera did get the knock there and it looks like uh jinkalewa is not in any good position here to try and help his teammates but the nade coming out not quite getting Vertsy here did have quite a whole bit of uh, road there but it looks like uh, Pokoyo here under a lot of pressure this time from uh, team one or team ONE as uh, he's almost a half life there but he's going to be able to get away just in the nick of time here and uh, live to see another day here as uh, oh, Red Sea still has four of their players left uh, they're still very much in power grid area and Pokoya just trying to find uh, a good compound to hold up in here. But looks like Rain Zera gonna also go to town on to the other players over here as he's trying to hold the fort. As the last player for uh, Zook, uh, Zook Nightmare at the moment. And uh, after getting that chicken dinner last round. So they've lost a lot of their players really quickly and early on here. And uh, now it looks like Jinkalewa gonna just try and... Uh, well, I guess there's nothing much that he can do. He's kind of gone, you know, at this stage here. But anyways, uh, it's not over yet for his squad as Vertsy is next, just next door to him. So FFG will continue to live on for the time being. But we already see that uh, Stadium Fighter really going all the way around the northern side here and really not wanting to go through La Cabrera as uh, they probably did see MSK uh, drop there right in the early stages of the game. 
But now, uh, Rainzara is still just going to hold up for the time being here. Britzi in no rush here to actually advance any further. Like, looking at uh, how things are, I think even like O and E here, a little bit spread out here, but I think this is going to be uh, Team 50-50. They're meeting up here in the central part. So all these teams going to really restrict any potential movements here, but uh, not too many deciding to stay on the edge. I think MSK doesn't mind playing here on the edge, but they already have Kusenia here trying to move past this zone at the moment. And there is going to be Padu Madu here trying to put down fire, but not able to connect any meaningful uh, shots there in that exchange. But looking at uh, how things are developing here, we already see Team Jesus moving in uh, from the southern regions of Pacado. Even Pacado is being uh, uh, vacated by GIF Esports for the time being as they try and also secure a good spot. Now, Krasenia is on the scouting maneuver over here for the rest of his team. He does actually have uh, all the rest of his players all in one uh, compound at the, at the moment here. So looking at this, we already see Team 1 Esport here also making their way over towards the central part. Uh, Sydney Fighter again, a little bit spaced out here. So uh, we'll see how this next circle is going to change things up. But Hacienda being vacated actually um, and not really being occupied anymore for Team ONE. ONE opting to go for this other position over here. But now looking at how things are going, there, there is going to be a chance here for 50-50 to put some hurt onto these uh, rotations coming in here from GIF Esports. But currently there's a lot of space in between, so not likely that they're going to get caught out in uh, anytime soon. And now the circle has revealed itself. It's still quite central, a little bit towards the western side, in fact. And uh, should be okay for most of the these teams here. Red Sea just going to take their time here. Pokoyo still has that compound all to himself for the time being as he looks to lock it down. Uh, 101 error here is going to stay on this very southwestern edge of the, of the circle here. But there are three different teams here, all currently uh, in a little bit of a standoff for the time being here. As we do see that... Uh, Corny Uncles over here, squad number 15 here, just going to try and uh, uh, get a little bit better vision and information onto exactly where Team Jesus is. Uh, Team Jesus is all on the low ground here, but there's a decent sized compound, but could be a little bit awkward later on. But it looks like Rain Zera will be able to finish off the rest of FFG, avenging some of his teammates' death there. But now, Corny Uncle is just going to continue to put the pressure on here. But currently, the distance to the circle is a lot shorter for. Team Jesus is a uh, casual elitist going around the backside here and uh, should be getting away here now. He's attracting fire this time from Corny Uncles, it would seem. And uh, I think Team Jesus only just realizes that as well. And uh, looking at how things are going, Cracker is still in the center of San Martin. They are uh, the Kings there. BAE mixed team here are going to be on the high ground south of San Martin as well. Looking at how the rest of the teams are moving. Um, awful squad here, still very much on the outside here. They don't want to get into all this uh, congested area, but it looks like Insane Floyd going to try his luck here, try and move into this uh, zone, but Koyo currently trying to hold this compound all by his health as uh, Chrysania, the furthest play forward and the scout for MSK here, going to try and feel out whether or not there's any other teams in this zone. So Insane Floyd going to keep continuing on here as he tries to take the high ground and try and spot out any other teams there that might be in other positions other other teams are also making their move 101 error has moved in a bit further team jesus has also moved further up the road after the pressure from horny uncles was uh alleviated but now looking at things we see that there is going to be a big push here from the rest of uh team msk here as they look to try and catch up pokoyo and christania is going to be able to do it here and looks like Red Sea loses their hold on this compound here after the rest of the team members are very much still in uh, the power grid area. And uh, now they are making their way over here, but they actually might run into the BAE mixed team here. And it uh, could be a little bit interesting here to see how this engagement will be panning out. But it looks like they will be, uh, well, NRL just going to have a little bit of a car problem here. But they're going to just park themselves here as they try and hold this position for the time being. Lokis and the rest of uh, the BAE mixed team here just going to try and occupy the high ground for the time being and uh, just try and see what information that they can gather on the other team movements as uh, if they have enough uh, magnification they should be able to catch a lot of these team movements here and that should uh, play into their um, plans here into the later stages of the game. Uh, others we will be seeing that oh there's going to be a lot of pressure here onto FJG here. 
as uh, and GIF Esports as uh, oh FJG here currently occupying the low ground here, but looks like GIF Esports is the one under a lot of pressure from Mixed Team Ten as uh, they and their three players are just on, all over here on this high ground. They do have a lot of good vision here, but it looks like uh, Asirum here going to try and meet up with Insane Floyd for Team Crayon at the moment and uh, looking a bit difficult for them. But ooh, looking as though that Team Quacker here is in a little bit of trouble after they're taking a lot of long range hits this time from uh, 101 error. So looks like uh, two players in that one building are knocked down Frozen and uh, Legendary Six probably going to have to come out of there and just try and support them as best they can. Well, the push is not really going to be coming too soon here, but that's going to be a lot of chip damage. But they might still have a lot of options to um, get more helmets there and whatnot. And looking at the next circle is going to be very much central here. San Martin and Hacienda are going to be the places to be for the time being. Uh, While well, the high ground is going to, going to be occupied by the BAE mixed team, as well as uh, UGM over here on this uh, slightly eastern side. So now we already see that uh, mixed team 10 also on their way inside. While well, we do have the uh, FJG team here still occupying this compound, while well, they'll need to actually make their rotation. While well, Giffy Sports has a, a decent spot here over on the northeastern side. But looking at this rotation coming in late here from uh, Stadium Fighter as they are taking some long range hits from Padu Madu and uh, now looking at how things are shaping up we see on this high ground here is going to be the Team Jesus uh, players here uh, just trying to get a good spot which has offers a lot of vision on this area so this is going to get very crowded very soon here and we see MSK Poseidon here also going for a little bit of a 2-2 split with Chrysania and DJ Lowell just trying to get uh, some better vision here over the ridge and looks like uh, Doyu getting knocked down I'm not sure if that was from Azora there or not but Azora did manage to come up big there in um, round number two that we saw earlier this evening after MSK was able to take that win so oh it looks like BA mixed team here fully engaging onto Red Sea at the moment as they come down from this high ground and uh, Red Sea currently have NRL down for them and uh, only having three players already there. So Haha Goose and Papa Zai here are going to try and hold off Batman and the rest of BAE mixed team. But looking at the, the nades coming out here, it is going to be still quite okay here. Currently Batman uh, nading in the slightly to the right side here. Haha Goose is going to back up a little bit here and try and see whether he can uh, get a little bit better of a vantage point here as he looks to prevent this push from finishing off the rest of Red Sea here. NRL is going to be finished off here after uh, no res will be possible given the, the movement that's going on here. And Loki's even getting all the way here onto the high ground and he's just trying to put up as much fire as he can in their direction. But now looking at Team Jace is going to try and put some hurt onto... Uh, uh, stadium fighter, but currently they're okay for the time being. BAE just going to try and force out Red Sea from coming further inside the zone. And they do want to take this battle now. They don't want to actually want to wait until later stages of the game because they will actually uh, be another team that they don't want to have to worry about shooting them in the back. So they're already not really in the center of the circle, but they can't really be pushed by the teams in the center circle either, given the, the kind of terrain that we have here being all on the high ground. So if they can finish off these teams here, then they don't have to uh, see them ever again later on. And they do have the numerical advantage, but they are deciding to bug out a little bit. The next phase of the circle is uh, going to change here, and that might actually mean that they have to make a, a quick rotation here. If they are not careful, they could get caught out by all these other teams, and it is getting incredibly crowded here. So it could be interesting to see whether we're in for a San Martin finish, guys as um, now we already see that most of the teams are just getting ready to start moving while they move into this next zone coming up. Uh, it looks like it's hard shifted all the way to the north here, so all these teams are going to be in trouble. There's going to be very little space for them to move in, and uh, Chrysania and Josh might actually do well to, to meet up with the rest of their team, because uh, I think everyone is going to just be piling forward here after they start all trying to navigate their way inside the zone. You hear Quacker and uh, Stadium Fighter currently in San Martin here are going to be running through the buildings here and just trying to get into that spot, but there's already going to be Team Crayon with Insane Floyd and Asirum here in the northern side, which uh, could actually prevent a lot of further movement, but Quacker does have four players up here so they could probably take the fight here without too much trouble but it looks like Azora here MSK gonna have to face off a lot there's 64 players still alive in this game guys so that is an insane number and uh, we're gonna see the kill count or the kill feed 
really piling up here as everyone starts moving inside the zone. Now, it looks like already that we already have the team members here from 5050 uh, all occupying this uh, western compound just next to Hacienda. And now it looks as though that Mixed Team 10 also on the way here. Now, we already see that uh, BAE also making their move as well as Onigate and uh, Shudra Ziang here. Going to try and maneuver around, but now it looks like uh, 101 error here getting caught out by Stadium Fighter. Kahaya will pick up the kill there, and he's putting some fire onto Razi. GG and Knoxville and Casual Elitas here. But looks like Team Jace is here on the move here as they try and get in here. Passion a little bit distracted here. A lot of these teams going to use this opportunity to, to move in while everyone is still in rotation and hasn't secured a spot just yet. So looks like very close here in the in the rest of San Martin here as Yuxan Swan gets caught out here as he's trying to, to navigate through this zone. And oh, looks like BAE here going to go to town onto the team members from UGM as they're pushing inside this compound. It looks like uh, Batman and Loki's getting two kills apiece so far here in this fight. And uh, I think they might have uh, eliminated the rest of them as they move into this compound, but they also have to worry about Awful Squad, which is coming in on this area as they're all moving down onto the low ground and uh, might not be aware of uh, exactly where BAE is, but this could be a little bit of a tricky situation. Batman is moving out here and he's going to get spotted here by 1 to 2 here. And uh, looks like uh, Ganks will be able to get the knock there as they're all advancing on this position. Loki's going to try and move in, only get, getting picked off here as uh, Loki's uh, going to try and move in through the zone and he gets picked off as well, leaving only shooters. Yang here and looks like Awful Squad coming out with the big play here, able to take out the rest of. Uh, BA Elite before they got fully set up to move again after that fight with UGM. So looks like that's going to be it for BAE Mixed Squad as they go out in 17th position. Now elsewhere we do see that uh, Team Quacker here a little bit separated here. Legendary 6 uh, leading all the way in the northern side of San Martin at the moment. And Skyrax actually on the southern side here. I'm not sure if he can really stop any push coming in from Awful Squad. But all these teams are still outside the zone just over here. As we see Red Sea making their move as well. As well as Horny Uncles. Horny Uncles just has to cross over this dirt road section over here. Just to try and get inside. But we already see that uh, Stadium Fighter also making their way over as they try and get inside. Now... Team Crayon still occupying that factory at the t for the time being here. And uh, Team Jace is split in a 2-1 position here. But they have to try and make do with the best they can. As a further movement is going to be hazardous. And now the rest of Awful Squad starting to move out from that factory. Or the warehouse rather. Uh, that they just claimed from BAE. But over here we do see that uh, the rest of uh, 50, Team 50-50 are going to hold up over here. But looks like um, mixed team here. Mixed Team 10 here, gonna start to put Hurt this time onto Skyrex and see he gets picked off and I'm not sure what he can do here, but Awful Squad is moving in. They are at the Kindergarten Complex at the, for the time being. And now looking at uh, the Western side, we see that Stadium Fighter has moved in here, but it looks like there is getting going to be some carnage here as Red Sea is engaging together with the, the team members from Horny, Horny Uncles. Uh, Papa Zayat will be the last player up here. But uh, he's going to try and get whatever vision. Nate, random Nate comes in from Stadium Fighter. But he's going to get a nice uh, couple of knocks there. But unfortunately, or rather, knock on Bonnie Licious here. But that's not going to be enough here, even with the Graza. But it looks like Frost the Bell here getting knocked down from the, the Nate from Udin. So Udin going to be in a great spot here with Stadium Fighter as they try and put the hurt on. But now it looks as though Team Awful here under pressure here after they're trying to cross the road going towards uh, Mixed Team 10 and currently they haven't even moved inside the compound yet and it looks like Voidless and the rest are going to throw up some nades to discourage the further advancement from uh, Team Awful Squad. But Caxis and John C. Nobody is inside for Team Jesus at the, for the time being and could be a little bit interesting to see how that part is going to play a part here. Now John C. Nobody is going to also just try and uh, just hold his ground for the time being on the high ground inside the factory complex. Now, it looks like more nades are coming out on from the Team Awful Squad as Sophia is going to try and land some shots there as the oncoming traffic coming here from Awful Squad is uh, going to be quite great. And uh, looking at the circle, it's not going to be super harsh, but it's going to force all these teams out from this zone at the moment. And wow, it looks like uh, that's going to be it for 
horny uncles here after they get wiped out. But Supak try getting knocked down for Awful Squad after they're trying to push this position. And it looks like Don Pablo trying to push up as well. But Sophia able to catch him out. Looks like KNY God will finish it after he gets 2 1 2. And now it looks like uh, they are pushing into this complex here. Um, Frozen trying to advance from here. And it looks like Caxis and John C. Nobody trying to back up their fallen teammate here. As Stadium Fighter also duking it out with Team Crayon as Acid Rum and Insane uh, Floyd go down. But it looks like four players still up here for Stadium Fighter looking really strong here for the time being here as uh, they try and fend off the rest of this pressure from this side. Now looks like uh, the rest of uh, Mixed Team 10 here going to try and push a bit further north here just get it inside the zone for the time being. And looking at these other teams we already see GIF Esports here going to town on to 50-50. 50-50 facing some troubles here after KMF1 went down here but he has been rest but he's right next to Mr. Pa. Mr. Pa's going to try and spray and do what he can, but he is on the high ground. If he was a bit lower, he might have been able to spot, but the smoke dissipates here at the wrong time, and Mr. Pa is going to meet his end. It uh, looks like KMF1 gets uh, shot down as well in turn, but looks like now we have uh, F FJG here also bringing up the rear here as they're putting, putting some of the finishing touches uh, onto the 50-50 squad. They go out after they get sandwiched as well by GIF Esports. But now things are heating up here as we see that uh, Mixed Team 10 here trying to duke it out with um, Team Jesus. John C. Nobody, the last player left alive here. And he's taking a lot of fire at the moment. He's got no health, basically. And Voidless should be res here after they manage to finish off that engagement. But Stadium Fighter here still in this southwestern corner and currently just trying to hold on to dear life for the time being. But they have four players up strong here, and uh, they have been getting uh, quite a number of kills. They got 11 so far, so Udin and the rest of his squad are going to try and push a bit north here. After there's going to be uh, one esports here, duking it out with MSK here, who are currently on the high ground. They managed to reconvene here after they disengaged from uh, San Martin here. And they still have that complex on the northern side here, but they will probably be wanting to move in closer to the circle now that currently they're not inside and uh, looks like stadium fighter also putting a lot of hurt onto one esports and that's going to finish them off so now msk knows about their presence and they're going to try and uh use this uh rich advantage that they have here to try and get inside the zone and also put the hurt onto stadium fighter from getting in currently they're using that power grid section there to actually try and hold it off but looks like in the center is going to be team one uh still holding up strong but looks like dj low getting picked off by dj or getting uh, shot by uh, Kahaya, but looks like uh, Udin is going to go down. And uh, Mixed Team 10 here, still in the southern region there, putting up some hurt. So now the compound in the center here, occupied the, by the three team members of ONE, but currently they're in a little bit of... Uh, well, I mean, they're all here on this uh, west eastern side of the wall, so they are not going to be in a good position here to prevent further advancement. But now it looks like MSK Poseidon here, or MSK is just going to continue to rain down onto the rest of uh, the team members from uh, Stadium Fighter. Lion goes down here, and uh, now leading Old Man to try and run out in the open. He's going to get picked apart here by the rest of... Uh, MSK and that's going to be it for him but now looking at things the uh, everyone is trying to just get inside but I think MSK is going to be happy to stay on this western edge as uh, we also see that um, Mixed Team 10 here also going to be happy to stay uh, very much on the outside for the time being but looking at this Rain Zera still alive here he's the master of survival here for uh, Zook nightmare for the time being and uh there is going to be the smoke deployed by team gif esports for the time being and now big blue bird going to be the last player left here for uh crayon but looks like anna is going to have a good nade onto him and that's going to finish him off here in this zone but now there is going to be uh, pressure onto gif esports this time as uh Wilkes here just trying to get a good vision onto him as currently they are in that shack and looks like everyone's going to have to move except for uh, team O and E, MSK is going to move in here and take advantage of the fact that there hasn't been a lot of fire coming from this uh, zone. But Doyu is just trying to spot out for the rest of uh, the players incoming here. And ooh, looks like uh, Dukong getting shot out here. So now O and E looks as though that this compound might crumble here if uh, all these teams start to push out in the same time. Now it looks like um, two players are back up here for Mixed Team 10, but it's going to be 
an awkward situation as now we see the advancement coming in from msk here they don't have uh, all have helmets it would seem here but uh they have enough as uh, they are deploying enough smokes here to cover their advance here but looks like Willux here going to try and come out here and see what he can do. Doyu here going to try and spot out Crescenia. He gets uh, hit quite a lot here. And now Willux going to try and offer some covering fire. But Crescenia going to go around the side of the building here and see whether he can push in as he tries to get that finishing touch onto Doyu. Doyu is going to heal and he's going to get spotted out by Crescenia at the moment. Now leaving Dukong and Willux here to try and hold this compound. But Willux getting knocked down here, leaving Dukong all by himself as the push is coming here josh is inside dukong gonna get azora down and now it looks like dukong just gonna try and fend off any remaining push here as uh he has to jump outside of the building for the time being here as he tries to dodge the rest of the msk players and now they are coming down here but the jump coming at the wrong time dukong taking a lot of damage but he's able to take down josh for the time being and uh whether or not he can get the heal off is gonna be uh very hopeful as Crescenia going to spot him out there. So looks like uh, that's going to be it for them. And we're down to four teams, nine players left alive here uh, in these final circles. And looks like MSK is still going to have three players up here as they look to try and prevent this compound from being advanced by Give Esports squad number five. And also Padu Madu, who still have three players up here. But they might be moving uh, a little bit... Uh a bit uh, hidden in a way here. I don't think that they have actually revealed their presence too much to MSK unless they've been paying attention before they made their push inside this uh, compound for the time being. So now this is going to be the playground for these teams for the time being here before we get to our last circle here in this game. And it's still going to cover the current building that MSK is uh, currently occupying as well as the Southern Factory Complex at the moment. And now they're just trying to hold on for the, the time being for dear life as they try and push off further, further push from uh, these other teams. But they currently have to fend off three different teams at the moment here. And it uh, looks like they're just trying to finish off uh, Padu Madu for the time being. They don't want to fight on multiple fronts here. And it looks as though they get down two of the players here. Anna will be still up here for this team. But DJ Lo trying to rain down with his AUG at the moment. But not able to connect enough. But looks like Azura here. Going to come out of the compound all the way to finish off the rest of Padu Madu here. And it looks like there's not going to be much hope there as the flank does come out. And uh, now looking at how things are. There's only going to be three other players. Essentially it's a three on three. But whether or not uh, Sophia... And uh, Dara Jebat actually fight against one another and not against the MSK it remains to be seen. So uh, looks like uh, a little bit more supplies there for Zora as well as Crescenia as they try and survive just a little bit. And now looks like DJ Lo will still just try and watch the rest of this compound. It's so easy for these teams to actually push up a little bit more. But looks like Sophia is going to come around the side here and uh, ooh, very close to Dara Jebat here. And uh, might not be able to see him, but Dara Jebat for sure would have heard uh, Sophia be walking around even as quietly as he is and uh, gonna move inside this factory complex for the time being as uh, tries to buy the time here but looks like MSK is set to get its second win of the evening guys as Dara J but just gonna try and hang out there for the time being as uh, they do have the zone but yeah everyone seems to have the zone here so if it's going to come down to the center where it's going to collapse at the end of uh, phase nine, then um, it's going to favor the high ground here, which currently is occupied by MSK. So now they are starting to push a little bit outside. They might have some idea as to where some of these other players are as uh, they are eliminating the options, so to speak here. Sophia just going to hang out in that back um, factory floor as tries to survive for a little bit longer here. But looks like Dara Jebat does get spotted out. I think his teammate did disconnect here as he's still lying there prone. So now it's only going to be uh, Sophia here who's going to try and hang out. But uh, looking at the position here, it is a little bit precarious here. And now they are crossing off all the possibilities here. And now Sophia is going to be waiting for Crescenia to pop up. It looks like the headshot is good here. And that's going to be it for... Uh, the rest of mixed team 10, but now it looks like Rix is here. Okay, doesn't look as though that he's uh, AFK anymore. Looks like uh, he should be alive here, but question is for how much longer. And uh, 
looks like the 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 high ground will be the place to be for the time being he does have to push up here he didn't even actually go up to help his teammate so uh, anyways if you want to try and survive uh till the end you know i mean that's your prerogative but now it looks like uh, he will be caught out here by Chrysania. So able to get that clutch kill there. And MSK looking very dominant in tonight's games there. As uh, they did manage to get... Um, well, for the games that we saw here on Play of the J, they got chicken dinner in round two. They got, uh, I think, second or... No, third place in round number three. And they got first again in round number four. So Chrysania having a monster game getting eight kills there as uh msk really deliver in that game and uh in second place we do have uh the team members from uh gif esports after they managed to secure second place in mixed team 10 will be here in third position after sophia was able to stay alive there right to the end and uh we also did actually see the uh team members uh uh, this is uh, Padu Madu, stay alive with the three team members, but they got really closed down and flanked hard by MSK, so it was really difficult for them to actually push through that situation. And um, ONE was going to make it into the top five there, but they did face a big push coming in from MSK, and they had a, a little bit of a spread going on there, so not able to prevent things from uh, transpiring as they did. And uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to be it for tonight here. So thank you so much for watching um, Play of the J here. Uh, sorry, I was only able to catch three of the four rounds after I did come back a bit late from dinner. So wasn't able to catch round one. Uh, big thanks to anyone uh, who shared out the stream. Uh, you guys are amazing. And also who, who liked the, the video. I really appreciate that. And a shout out to Han Wing Fong, who did send 95 stars. You're amazing, man. Thank you so much. And uh, that's going to be it from me tonight, guys. So I will be returning back with my um, casting tomorrow as uh, Scrim City will be resuming again and uh, looking forward to bringing you some of the hottest action between some of these uh, Southeast Asian uh, teams here and uh, looking to see probably there will be a, a lot more action uh, compared to tonight but again that's uh, uh, going to be a number of teams really at a, a very high level but of course we do see a lot of participation in that one so really looking forward to that one i hope you guys are too so that's going to be it for me good night guys